Hey, you guys. Osha Sean is... Excuse my hands. Osha Sean is here. Again. To uh, do a coloring of Mary J. Blige. Love her music. Music's great. Love it. You know... Just kind of trying to sit back and look at it, figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this, what color to use. Let me see. Mary J. Blige. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to need this. I believe this color to be peach. And obviously, I'm going to need this white. I might going to need this to blend out certain features of her face. I might. I'm not for sure. I got a Crayola white that I use for blending the features. And I got a little premium color that I use to, uh, for the skin white. So I got two different whites and I got the peach because I'm going to use this peach for the bottom part of her lip. I'm going to need, uh, let's see, a brown. I'm going to need like an orange because I think I could use orange on her complexion. Maybe not. I'm not for sure. But I don't know. I see. And uh, I'm going to need yellow. I'm going to need yellow, too. This is the nah, this is the Crayola yellow. The Crayola yellow. And this is what I'm going to use for the hair. Or maybe not the hair, maybe the skin complexion. The Crayola yellow. Let me see. And I'm going to use for her earrings, too. Uh, I don't have need for these two, so I'm just sending them down. Black. Um, I don't have need for this black, so I'm sending that to the side, too. Can't believe I don't have a need for the black. Let me see. What do I have a need for? I might need this. I think this is gold. Because the words is going off of And I couldn't see the words. No way. It was too small for me to see. Don't need no black. But um, brown. And I might try to test out this. This yellow right here. Is this yellow? I don't know. But let me go and try to work on the color. Let's work on the skin first, as always. The shade. White. I got down white. Let me try this yellow. I, yellow. I, I just guessing yellow. Yellow. And this brown. It's a regular brown. Let me see. Now, um, I'm not going to take that out of the category. I might use that. This is dark brown. I can see this one pretty clearly. Let me see how this dark brown one. Dark brown. Yellow. Put down the white. Yellow. Now, let's see. Oh, this one's too dark. Too dark. Sorry, you got to go. And I got this one. Toasted toffee. I think that's what it says because, like I said, 
I th- that I just you know what my best outlet probably is the laser eye surgery, which I'm too afraid to. I'm too afraid to get anything done because Corona. They probably won't even let me have the surgery because of you know identification. Well, let me see. I gotta go for this brown. This brown right here to me is the best brown. And this is Crayola. This the best one. And this is what I'm gonna use for Mary J. Cause that's the best one to me to use and sharpen my pencil. It's like you can get with me, it's like I can, you know, change, you know, use any type of yellow, but that brown really does stick. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to try this. I forgot to try that. So let me try that. White. Yellow. I sure forgot to try that. I forgot it was there. No, I gotta throw that to the side too. But uh, let me get started. Okay, first thing first, putting down the white. And you have to be careful with the details because this uh, premium color will smudge. It will smudge. So you have to, when you go around the corners of the eye and the detail, you got to be very careful. Or you're going to have like a lot of smudging going around. That's what I learned about these, um, you know, these type of colors. Like I said, I had ordered these because uh, the same stores we used to have. We don't have no more thanks to the casino. Folks are losing their business because of the casino. Yep. I don't know, people used to lose their business because of drinking. They would open up so many liquor stores down here. It was opening up from the left to the right. Now, we don't, we don't have that problem no more because we only get like maybe two liquor stores. We used to have like, for this for the county that I am, you know, we had like, 50 liquor stores in this in this area code, not including the rest of the area area codes around about my area code. Which that's pretty sad. But Jesus delivered us from the liquor store and now it looks like we're being delivered from the casinos because uh can nobody come to our casino because of corona. Which I know a lot of people wanted to come back. But the Lord like, no. They had found like Corona up in there and stuff, you know. Okay, now it's time for the yellow. We put down the white. Now it's time for the yellow. You know, I ain't not, I'm not going to lie. She always had, had good taste, good, you know, good makeup, good everything. I can't wear makeup. Uh, first of all, uh, not allowed to wear makeup. But even if I wanted to wear makeup, I couldn't. I couldn't wear makeup because of uh, the type of skin I have. Uh it will produce too much dirt in my skin. It will clog my skin up. The only thing I could really, and I would develop open pores. The only thing I really could, that not could, but the only thing I really can, well, is little stick. And I collect the heck out of little stick. Uh, I haven't been collecting little stick lately. A lot of things that I used to do, I don't necessarily do anymore, but 
And even when I was little, I was a little stick fan. I was a little stick fan when I was little. Uh, more than really makeup. Loans I have, I used to think, I used to believe that uh, little child, I used to believe that little child was a uh, little stick when I was little. I ain't know no better. I, um, I used to buy all these little chaps with this taste to it and everything. And then I went from little chap to lip gloss. Then eventually I, I started going from little stick. Um, my mama was trying to get my sister to wear little stick because, you know, we were going out a lot and taking pictures and Guys was saying something, and my mom wanted us to look really pretty. She said, "We, you know, she said she was like, we got good skin, and you know, the little stick. When I seen my sister wearing a little stick, I was like, I want to wear a little stick too, you know. She was like, you can wear lightly because you still pretty little, you know, because." My sister, she older than me. So she was like, when I, I really didn't start what you call wearing little stick until like I was like 15. Cause my mom, she she wasn't, she was like, she had a watch her trying to make sure it wasn't trying to grow up pretty fast. She had to make, make sure we wasn't trying to do all that around here. She had to make sure that I came on kind of late tonight because I fixed in my mama something to eat. I made her some turkey chili. Turkey chili. I need to be shopping. Yeah, I made her some turkey chili. And you know, we all want some. You no know, heck kids be begging from their parents. Biblically, biblically, we when you get older and you still live with your parents, you are supposed to take over the responsibility of the house with the cooking and the cleaning. For your parents. Biblically. So that's why. I try to do the things that I do. Because I want to make Jesus happy. And this is biblical. We're supposed to help our parents. Who's been good to us. You know. It's not like they've been around here. Hitting us across our heads. They, you know. I can honestly say. Jesus bless us. That we were spared from all of that. No. I'm using the brown now. When I go across, I try to keep the lines close as I possibly can. So it could be like the same shade color.
I saw a picture of Mary J. Blige when she was a little girl. She was so pretty. She was a pretty little girl. She looked like her mama. She looked like her daddy, too, but she looked like her You know, they say that you feed them enough, they start looking like you. It's, you know, she her mama gave birth to her. Her mama fed her, so, you know, the features of her mama going to show. Well, she got her mama face, but I say her daddy features. Uh, I think I only seen one picture of him. Um, one picture. One picture, yeah. My hand's starting to hurt. It's supposed to, I think it's rainy outside right now. You know how the off ride is kicking. I can't believe I used to do this all the time and never experienced off riders until I got older. I mean, I always did have RA, but you know, this right here. Really something. I think it's a shame that she got the voice. I was hoping that he was the one. And that he be good to her. But. You know how. You know greed can make you be a good con artist. Greed can come to you and tell you all you need to do. How to come people out of their money. I had watched it. Uh, it was a while back ago. I watched it mystery at the museum. And. It was this. I don't know what year it was. I think it was what. The 1930s or 40s. Or maybe even the 1950s. I really don't know but. The Brooklyn Bridge is uh, the people, tours would come to look at the Brooklyn Bridge. And it was this guy who would always stand by the Brooklyn Bridge. And one couple, he said to them, he told them that he, he was the owner of the Brooklyn Bridge. And that he was selling the Brooklyn Bridge. And uh, he said, just give it to me for a certain amount. So they did it. And uh, a problem came up. The problem was he did not own the Brooklyn Bridge. He was a con artist who conned people out of their money. And... He was, people was believing that they own the Brooklyn Bridge. But, you know, eventually that stuff did catch up with him. Conning people out of their money. Greed can really teach you how to be a con, a good, a good con artist at that. A real doggone good one. Let me tell you something, Jesus don't support con artists because con artists are liars. They don't just lie, but they go into the character and the role of their lie. And you know, liars cannot enter into heaven. Liars cannot enter 
into heaven. So, you know, Jesus don't support a liar. Because Satan lied to Eve when he God told Adam to do not eat of the tree of knowledge, for you will surely die. And God told him to tell his wife the same thing. And, you know, Adam did so. But, you know, Eve was still new there. So Eve was gullible. And when she seen the snake and the snake seen her, who the snake stayed in the devil, the snake who used to be known as Lucifer, who used to be God right here in man, going to tell Eve to eat of the tree of knowledge. And Eve said, we cannot eat of the tree of knowledge, but only of the tree of life. And for the tree, of, we eat of the tree of knowledge, we'll surely die. Satan told her, "You shall." He used. He changed the one word. He couldn't eat. He lied to eat. And at least in eat. And that you be told, he did disobeyed her husband. She did. She disobeyed her husband when he told her what was right. Now things have re reversed it. Now the women's trying to tell the man's was right, and the man's is being disobedient. But anyway, let's go back to the Bible. And E, being ignorant, ate the apple. Adam, when she came to Adam with the apple, well, well, I don't know who came to who, but Adam was like, E told it. Adam the same thing that the snake told her, that you shall surely not die. You notice that. Then nothing happened when he ate the apple. Now, why? I don't know why. But you notice that when Adam ate the apple, that's when everything changed. You want to know on this one, I do know why. Adam knew better. Adam been with God for this a long amount of time. E just got there. E just got there. She just got there. And you gonna choose somebody else's words over God's word. Now it would have made a difference if God had told E himself about it, but God didn't tell E. Adam told Eve. God told Adam himself that you shall surely die. Now, if God had told Eve, then, and Adam ate the apple, then probably won't nothing really made a difference. I really don't know. But Adam knew Bella. He knew Bella. But also, let the truth be told, it was evident that Adam, obviously, he was eating it too on a lot of things. But did nothing happen when E ate it? Because God didn't tell E. Something happened when Adam ate it. Because God told Adam. But you know, they both got punished. He got punished for disobeying her husband for when he, for because he told her what was right. And Alan got punished for disobeying God because God told him what was right. But you no know, woman would have to be because she disobeyed her husband, she had to be a servant to man. Okay, that did went on until a certain extent. The problem came in, the man started, the devil came into the man's. The man's start abusing their power over woman. Really. 
when the white people abused it, they power over the black people. Jesus do not support abuse. He does not support it. They was abusing their power over the women. That's why Jesus was always like, woman, thou art, thou art loose. Because the man was just taking advantage of it. It's something happened when you gain power. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? I'm busy. It's something how when you get power in your hand, you start abusing it for your own ability, for your own rights. Jesus do not support abuse. He do not support it. Jesus, where in the Bible did that God say, Adam, do everything underneath the sun to the woman? No, the Bible said, Adam even said out of his own mouth that she was woman of his bone and flesh of his flesh. I ain't never read in the Bible that Alan abused the E. I mean, yeah, he did try to bl- put the blame on E, but eventually he did have he did on um, them. Man start abuse. They then, I mean, abusing their power. They only want to. They only want to throw up that scripture when it's necessary to them to do it up. To, you know, they feel like they want, if they don't feel like they got a certain control, like. Then that's when they want to bring that up. What happened to a wise man listen to his wise wife? That's in the Bible. That a wise man know to listen to his wise wife. Wife, a woman with wisdom. They say the Bible says that a foolish man, a foolish man, do not listen to his wise wife. That the Bible stately said that he is a foolish man. It's foolish. That means you looking like a fool to God. Oh, he being a fool. She trying to tell him what does say the Lord. And he don't want to listen. He being a fool. You being a fool before the Lord and his angels. I couldn't tell you how many scriptures that I have read about listening to a woman that has wisdom. But I don't hear nobody else reading it. Do you know because it does not give them power to do what they want to do. They just want to abuse and tell you, and Jesus do not support it. Because that what, that what hell is for. The devil, he, he abusing everybody underneath the sun and hell. And he want everybody to be like him. He don't want man and woman to come together to be one. He don't want that. And I do know this much. My husband better not abuse me. Because I would take up that scripture about divorcement. My heart would be hardened against my husband that I want a divorce. Yes. My heart, yes. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Because he abusing my love. The Bible said the man supposed to cleave to his wife. He supposed to leave from the mother and father's house and cleave to his wife.
not cleave to your pastor, not cleave to your mama, not cleave to your daddy, not cleave to your brother, not cleave to your sister. I already said that, I think. Not cleave to your uncles, not cleave to the to the deacons, not cleave. No, it said cleave to your wife. I ain't got no problem filing for divorce. My kids ain't gonna grow up jack up in the head. The Bible never, okay, the Bible said about the bishop supposed to be a man with one wife, not a man with a wife, two or three girlfriends. An apostle, the you know, the apostleship is neither male or female. The apostleship is when God ordain you to bring take to uh, bring out the nations, tell the world, you know, help set up churches. It didn't say that apostle is a male figure. It didn't say that apostle is a female figure. Matter of fact, you don't have to be ordained apostle to be apostle. You don't have to be ordained. You have to be ordained by Jesus to be an apostle. You don't have to be an ordained to be a pastor neither. As long as you is ordained by Jesus, then you then you are a pastor. Now everything else you do have to be ordained as. You got to be ordained as bishop. Unless Jesus say you ordained, you know me. If Jesus say it, then it's done. But, yeah. But, you know, people, they just like to abuse. They like to abuse. They like to abuse. They like to abuse. They love to abuse. Especially if they can gain something off of it. That is control. Everybody wants to be in control. But don't nobody want to look at the big pictures. Who's supposed to be in control? And that's Jesus. They take the Bible, they twist, and really, they wouldn't get, you know, it was a lot of stuff they left out of the Bible. They left out that how many black people was really in the Bible. They left out how many female preachers that was in the Bible, because it was female preachers up in there. They just didn't put it in there. They didn't want King James to publish all of that. They did not want King James to put that out there. They, the priests did not even like King James. The priest was the one who wrote a book about King James, and they put it out that King James was a homosexual. And these are priests now. They pre they supposed to be saved, lying on the king. I mean, they just lied on the man. And they killed him, too. They killed him with a bomb. They lied on him. Who was evil was his mama. His mama, she was the evil one. She was a witch. You know, but hey. It's all in Jesus' hand. It's all in his hand. And people, this what gets me, how people are willing to go along with that lie. Knowing that it was a lie. A lie. That those priests put out. The priests did not want the Bible to be published unto the people. The priests, man, they fixed it so that they, they left out so much. But, 
you know, Jesus can have reason for everything. Eventually, they are going to have to put out the the full text of the Bible. They're going to have to put it in how many black people was in the Bible. They're going to have to put in uh, just the truth. Stop trying to cover everything up. You know, stop going on with the lie. And I do appreciate the King James Bible. Yeah. Okay. The King James Bible is a blessing. It is a blessing. This is Peach putting on the lips. It's a blessing. The King James Bible. No, I bring it to her. Uh, oh, I said, I bring it to her. Oh, okay. It is a blessing. But eventually, they ju we're just going to have to get the whole truth out a little bit. I don't think I made that brown enough. You know, you just take what you can get. We, we was able to get our basic, our basic teaching, because it goes back to that scripture about that milk and meat. You know, and now it's time for us. We no longer get drink milk. Now it's time for us to eat meat. This is my uh, cartoon of Mary J. Blige. I will come back in a little while to uh, do study my Korean on live, live, not live, live. 